But hello guys, welcome back. This is Liz here. Listen, I've got another tag that I'm about to do. I am so excited. You guys know I love, love tags. This tag is called the Get to Know Me Tag. And I first saw it on Diva Decorating, her channel. I don't know who the original um, creator of the tag is, but I saw it on her. So I'll go ahead and give her the credit. But anyway, this is a very nice tag. I love the questions. I believe she said there are 50 questions, but because of time's sake, it's too long. So she only did 25 questions. So I'm going to be repeating and answering the same 25 questions. So if you guys are ready to hear my answers, then please keep watching. Questions number one. Got my, <laughs> got my helper here. Are you named after anyone? Yes, I am. I believe it's my mother's aunt. I believe she told me that she named me, named me after her aunt, which is really nice. Number two, when was the last time you cried? This past Sunday. Yeah. On my way to church and I don't know what it was about this homeless man. It was just the way he was sitting in the streets. It touched me so much and I just kind of cried a little bit because I don't like to see homeless people. Um, it's just really sad. You know? It was just really sad how he sat there and just the way he looked. And, you know, I, I have a heart and compassion for people who are truly homeless. You know, there are some that want to who want to be homeless and they don't care but there are some who are generally um, homeless and they don't you know they don't really desire to be homeless they would love to be in a home but I cried on that when I saw it I really did and I was like wow anyway moving right along number three do you have kids if no how many do you want I have two kids I have one adult child and one teenager. Started late having the the second one. You know, people say you started all over so late. And yeah, I sure did. Um, and no, I do not want any more. I, you know, that part of me is over with anyway. The reproductive uh, process of you know that's done with. Meaning it cannot happen, even if I wanted to. Okay, number four. If you were another person, would you be would you be a friend of yourself? Of course I would. You know, I think I'm a pretty nice person. You know, I I love to um, meet people. I love to help people when I can. Um, I love to be a good friend to people. You know, so I would definitely. Number five. Do you use sarcasm a lot? <laughs> I won't say a lot. I don't practice being sarcastic, but sometimes with my family, sometimes I tend to, you know, respond sometimes in a sarcastic way. And that's something I need to work on. But I don't, it's not like a big problem. It's just like once in a while. You know, so number six, what's the first thing you notice about a person? Um, probably their personality. Um, of course, you know, you see the outward appearance, you know, you see how they look. I pay attention to their eyes, the eyes really tell a lot about a person. Um, and their personality, or, or do they seem nice, do they seem gentle, kind, you know, things like that. But I love to notice the eyes. You can really look in a person's eyes and you can see, you can see things in their eyes. If a person has a lot of evilness in them, you can see it. You really can. But you have Okay, number seven, what is your eye color? My eye color is hazel. Hazel, Hazel, Hazel. I got my eyes from my dad. So, number eight, scary movies or happy endings? Well, back in the day, I would have said scary movies because I loved them. Loved. Past tense. 
So now I would say happy endings. Uh, I love a good movie that has a happy ending because I can't stand when a movie ends in a sad situation like someone got killed and they're mourning or got divorced. Um, you know, I like, let's say if a couple gets divorced or they separate, I like to see the family reunite um, and become happy and one again. That's what I like. That makes me feel happy. Even though we know that the movie is not for real, most of them, unless it's uh, uh, a true story. But for the most part, um, they're not. And I just like to see a happy ending. This is the second part of the number eight Hallmark movies. Oh, yes. I love Hallmark movies, especially during the holidays. Oh, my gosh. All the Christmas movies. Thanksgiving movies. Oh, I cannot wait. I can't wait to the holidays, you guys. Okay, number nine. Favorite smells. Anything lotion, you know, like fruity smells, uh, candles, body sprays. Oh, yeah, I'm a sucker for all those. Number 10. What's the furthest you've ever been from home? Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii, so that's the that's the furthest. At least I think it is. <laughs> Number eleven. Do you have any special talents? Yes, I do. Uh huh. I um, one of my special talents that I feel I have uh, home decorating. I have a passion for that. I mean that's. That took a while to develop over the years. I didn't know that it was inside me until, you know, I started bringing it out. Uh, dancing, I love dancing, boogie, ballet, tap, all of it, jazz. Uh, singing, however, I'm not a singer, but I do feel that I have a nice voice. My family tells me that, they feel that I do. Number 12, where were you born? I was born in the heart of Los Angeles, California. Definitely. Okay, what's your zodiac sign? Well, the zodiac sign for February, listen how I'm saying it, the zodiac sign for February they say is Pisces. However, I don't claim to have any sign because I don't believe in it. And that's the second part of the question. Do you believe in it? No. I think it's of the devil. Uh, no. But anyway, I answered the question. Pisces and no, I do not believe in it. Number 14. What are your hobbies? Oh, wow. Number one, decorating. Dancing. I mentioned that before. Writing. I love to write. Now, what I mean by writing... I can take a book or um, a nice article from a magazine, get a piece of paper and just write, write, write. Also, I can write you, if I, if I really am in the mood to write a letter to someone, I can write up to 25, 30 pages if I have a lot to share. I can do that. So I love writing. Writing is a passion for me. I just love it. Also, whistling. Now, I'm always walking around the house whistling. Sometimes I'll whistle um, godly songs, praise songs, uh, any type of song. Or just whistle from the top of my head, you know. It's fun. I like doing it. Fifteen, do you have any pets? No. We used to have a bird, but you know how that is. Birds, they always die. Um... We don't have dogs, but our neighbor next door has dogs and so sweet to us and my husband and Aaron, you know, they'll go out there and feed them, you know, hot dogs, chicken, things like that. So, but no, we don't have any. Number 16, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one younger sister and I have a brother, which I am the oldest of three. Okay, number 17. What do you want to be <laughs> when you grow up? <laughs> well, I think I've already grown up already. But as a child, 
I could have answered that by saying I wanted to be a nurse. That's what I thought. Honey, mm -mm. no, no, could not be bothered with being a nurse, touching a nasty body, the things that they have to go through. No, thank you. Okay? No. Then I said I wanted to be a doctor. Please. Moving right along. <laughs> Who was your first best friend? My very first best friend that I remember, her name was Cami Peterson from, I think it was second or third grade. Cami and I, oh my gosh, we used to play down the street. Oh. Okay, number 19. How tall are you? I am technically 5'1 one and a half, but I just round it off and say 5'2. So I'm a little shorty and I love being short. I really do. Number 20. What is what is the least favorite thing about yourself? Ah, the least favorite thing about myself? I would have to say that I'm too emotional. Yeah, I get too emotional for different types of situations and you know, sometimes I'll cry when I'm trying to express myself and I don't like that about myself I you know that's just part of who I am but I try to be strong and not feel the emotion but as it is what it is you know so number 21 funniest moment throughout school oh gosh <laughs> now this it's not funny funny but it's funny now that I can talk about it um, when I first started my period, I was sitting in my chair, I got up and all of a sudden there was blood in the seat. Oh my gosh! Everybody started laughing and they were laughing at me because I said, Oh my gosh, I must have sat in some paint or something. <laughs> and we, we just, we had a good time laughing after, after the fact, but that was not funny at that time, but it is now. <laughs> oh God. Number 22. How many countries have you visited? One, and that would be Canada. Yep, Canada, Canada, Canada. My aunt and uncle used to live there, so we would take drives out there just to go visit the family and all my cousins and everything. Number 23, what was your favorite or worst subject in high school? Oh gosh. My favorite subject was English. I love, love, love English. I love writing compositions, things like that. And my least favorite, which is my worst favorite, I should say, was math. Oh, Lord. Me and math, I'm telling you, we're like cold and hot. We don't get along even to this day. I know it's just numbers, but mm, I will leave math alone. I don't like it. I'm scared of it. Not really. Number 24, what is your favorite drink? Pepsi. But not anymore. I don't drink Pepsi anymore, you guys. I don't drink soda anymore. Um, but back in the day, honey, oh, Pepsi. It feels so good, so cold and crisp going down. It was, that was the drink of all drinks. Definitely. Okay, your favorite animal, I'd have to say fish. I love fish, and the reason is they don't bite. <laughs> uh, you put your finger in their mouth, they might, but they don't get on you, they don't bother you, so fish. Favorite perfume, I have two of them. I would have to say White Diamonds by Elizabeth Taylor. I love White Diamonds. That fragrance smells so good. And I need to buy another bottle because I'm running low on it. The second one is a perfume called Angel, A-N-G-E-L, and I don't know who it's by, I don't remember, but I had that perfume and oh, it smells so good. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, there's only one more question, you guys, and we are done. If I can find it. Okay, number 25, what would you or have you named your children? Well. My daughter's name is Angela, and my son's name is Aaron. Uh, I wanted to name uh, Aaron Adam or Al, A-L, or Alan, but my husband, he was like, nah, he didn't want that because there was some people in his family that had the same name, and he didn't know how they would 
feel about it, you know, I was like, well, hey, this is our baby. You know, we can name our baby what we want. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks. But we went with Aaron, and I love Aaron. I love the name Aaron. It's in the Bible, so I like it. As far as my daughter, Angela, you know, my mother, <laughs> she wanted her to be named after us, our middle name, which is Antoinette. It's a French name. And I don't know, I just wanted to be different. I had Angela all picked out. Everything was Angela, Angela, Angela. I was in love with that name, Angela, so that's what it is. I would not trade her name or change it or have given her a different name. No, it's just Angela. It's a beautiful name. Okay, that's it for this tag, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'm going to tag you guys. Whoever wants to do this tag, just jump right on in. I love doing tags, so... Hey, I always jump in on a good tag any day. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you, Diva Decorating, for uh, doing this tag. I'm glad I saw it on your channel. And I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a blessed day. See you later.